the brilliant three star Michelin chef, Alan Roux. Great to have on the show. And well, we've got crab on the menu. So what are we yes, going to do with it, well, then, chef? Cannelloni. The crab is going to be a cannelloni filled with crab. Yeah. So obviously, for the cannelloni, we need pasta dough. That's yeah. made with double oat flour, yeah. fresh eggs, little pinch of salt, nothing else. So that's pasta. Is there any special flour that you use for this, or double zero, or do you just use the Yes, yeah, very super fine, right. very white and nice and light. Okay. And that's some that we've done earlier yep. morning, and that's rested. And we're going to run through these ingredients as and when we cook them, but you've got, you're going yes. to fill that with what? Well, the, the crabs from South Devon, which yep. is my favourite, yep. and uh, it's so meaty, tasty, very sweet, and that's going to be seasoned with uh, some crushed green uh, peppercorns uh, yep. kept in brine a twist of uh, a lime and uh, as well underneath the cannelloni we're going to uh, spoon a bit of the coral that's an optional uh, thing yeah. that's from the head the body of the the crab right mixed with uh, some mascarpone and uh, the sauce with that is uh, which i better get on exactly really. it's go. a virgin sauce with lovely fresh tomatoes yeah. and uh, with uh, snip basil extra virgin olive oil and uh, again a twist of lemon yeah. and we're going to put on the side the garnish of stripes of asparagus and leaves of roquette. Sounds good to me. So you're going to start off and do the pasta. So Yes. So this pasta's already done. You make this by hand if you can, yeah? I prefer. That's, yeah? that's really my choice. Yeah. So, you know, it's a question of uh, the quantity that you're, you're making. What would you do? The one, one egg per, per hundred grams, is that roughly or...? Um, it's you use many egg yolks. I, I, lose, I use only the egg yolks. So right. obviously, I think it's for 125 grams of flour, I right. do use about four egg yolks, which is quite rich. But yeah. that, you know, gives a nice color and good flavor. Yeah. So this is, you know, a very cute machine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to something a bit larger, but, yes. uh, <laughs> you know, maybe I'm not putting the right setting. But, uh, I think that's all right. It'll, it, just, it'll it go will, straight eventually. It yeah. will work. Yeah. yeah. And what's important is when you roll your pasta, is you need to bend on your legs. You know, so be, be <laughs> supple. <laughs> be okay. supple. And the Italian actually will, will you know, do something uh, which is I think very important. It seems to work. They, they seem to say that you have to sing. And sing. Yeah. Oh, sol mio. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll stop there because my talent yeah, exactly. is, is not exactly, good enough. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. that's the way we do it. Yeah, that's the way you do it. What are the water side? At home, it? yes. So when you're all singing, we know that you're my, making pasta at the water side. My, right? my dad is a great singer. <laughs> so <laughs> since, since he left the kitchen, we actually we stopped uh, making right. pasta. No, I'm joking. So tell everybody about the water side then, because it, it is a, a unique place in the world, really. Your, your, your father bought it when? 30 odd years ago? Well, it's a bit like you. We're celebrating our 40 years this year. Yeah. So. There, that way. Ah, sorry. Okay. There you go. So, 40 <laughs> years already. Yeah. So, what I need. And you to... took over the kitchen. I'm bringing it down. Ah, all right. Up. Okay. You so, you cook, took over the kitchen when? Well, almost 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then we go through again. Let's do this one as well. Make it a little bit thinner. Yeah. There we go. That's it. So we want to reach our ah, perfect. That's about a, a millimeter, one and a half millimeter thickness. There you go. So there you have it. Now in there, what we'll do is we'll uh, put some basil. Yeah, I've got to pick some. Ah, there there go. we are. So I'll, I'll take a few as well because we need we need to be quite generous with that. And the yeah. the small leaves I think are are better. Yeah. Young leaves. Yeah. A bit like you. Or just young leaves. <laughs> James, I think you need to invest in a pasta machine. Do you? Is that birthday. what I think so? No. For your birthday. Yeah, no, well, you know, we're not getting any younger, put it that way. Yeah. I woke up this morning, when you're younger, you know, you used to sort of look forward to opening your presents and wake up and get all excited, you know, that kind of stuff. I woke up this morning, age 40, and all I want to do is go for a pee. That's <laughs> the, you know, so, so, <laughs> so what I right. do, what I do here is when, right. when the basil leaves are, are in, I just brush with a little bit of water, yeah. press down with the, the hand. It's just the water will help basically to kind of, you know, have yeah. uh, the leaves and the, the two sheets of pasta, you know, now, I've basically just flipping put, together. On the settings, I've just opened that out again. We'll put it through one That's more time it. to get a little yeah. bit thinner. 
because otherwise it starts to split. That's the thing, so. Let's do this. We've got it. Perfect. So, I mean, you, you could use any type of leaves, but because of the, the flavours of the crab and the, the basil in the sauce, right. we're basically going to, you know, leave it uh, with the basil. Yep. There you go. So right, we'll get our tomatoes. Yep. We're going to... So is this a dish that you have on the water side, then? Is this... Uh, we do it time to time. Right. Slightly similar, a bit nicer. <laughs> today, <laughs> today, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but you so. have the you have the true classics that you've got on there as well, and you know things like the the lobster dish that you've got on there with the ginger. I mean, that's a dish that's not changed for for years. Thirty five years, I think. Thirty five yes. years. Yes. So, I've got my sheets of pasta, so I've got yep. them about three to by six inches. Yeah. So to cook the pasta, a touch of uh, olive oil. And that needs a bit of salt. Which is I'll put over there. there. I've got it here. Yep. You now you want See? diamonds in here, is that correct? Yes, diamond, because diamond is always better than just, you know, little cubes or oh, diced, okay. yes. Right. Diamonds. Make sure you get them right, Dennis. Remember that, boys, that's the difference between two and three stars. <laughs> diamonds, that's where you've been going wrong, you see? Ah, squares. <laughs> so what, uh, what I do is uh, this dish, because I, I wanted to cook this for you, because... It's influenced a little bit of a French touch and a, yeah. a bit of Italian. And at home with uh, our restaurant manager, Diego, who is, to be honest, the, the best restaurant manager, if not from the country, but most probably from the village of Bray. He is, because, I mean, he's been there he's, well, he's, you know, as long good. as the bricks have been there, hasn't he, really, that guy? Indeed. <laughs> yeah. He's been there for almost, if not 30 years now. Yeah. And he, he basically knows what uh, our customers like. And this is like, you know, seasonal. It's a summer fresh, light dish. So I've put the crushed green peppercorns. Yep. I've put a, a little twist of lime. Yep. A touch of salt just to bring back that saltiness. And we're just going to blend it with a... Do you want me to pass that crab meat through there? Is yes, that... please. Okay. And I'm going to put a, a drizzle of olive oil just to keep that moistness in it. Okay. And that's it. Now we've got the brown meat here, which we just passed through a sieve, which will show you what part of that yes. the crab it comes from. So the pasta's about there, ready? That's, it's that's the, the brown crab. Yep. It's basically inside the body, and that's this part here. So that's the coral. That's the brown, and, and all the lovers of the crab, that will be their favourite, to be honest. Yep. We, should, we should never lose that. That's at two minutes now, so that's ready. And this is a fantastic... How old would this be, Nathan? This... This one oh, here. Right. <coughs> They've got to be at least 12, 13, maybe even 15 years old, that. Fabulous, well, yeah. then, isn't it? Or yeah. almost as old as you, James. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, the pasta that's been. Uh, well, that cools. Uh, remember, if you'd like to down. ask a question on the show and put a question to any of us yesterday, then call this new, uh, our number. This is 033 That's 033 Calls, remember, charge it standard network, right? And a few of you to put your questions to us live. A little later on. Now I've got my asparagus here. That's done. Yeah, asparagus. We're going to place them on here, if you don't mind, James. Yeah. No here, problem. the pasta when it's cooked, cooled down, we we'll just pat dry it slightly. Yeah. I'm going to garnish it. Obviously, it needs a bit of salt. Salt. Just to. Yeah. Now it doesn't take very long to warm up this, does it, really? No, about yeah. you know three, four minutes maximum. So that's it. Now with a little spatula, we're going to uh, help it to, to hold together. Put that one back on there. That's it. Just roll together. Ready? This in there. Just asparagus on top. And we close it. There you go. Now we just need to finish yep. the sauce. Right. So the sauce I've passed. Pass it through a sieve, there you go. Yep, so the sauce, got... the mascarpone with the brown crab. And you want this one for the little vierge. Now, the classic little sort of vierge is, uh, it's just a simple little dish, isn't it, really? It's just... It is very simple, but, you know, you need to have some lovely tomatoes for that. And uh, good plum tomatoes, or I know, at the moment, uh, the best might be the, the kind of long Italian uh, San Mirazano. I am right. right. Tomatoes, which are yeah. very tasty, yeah. sweet, and uh, not too much, uh, you know, juice or water inside. 
left. So what are you doing there then? This is the, the just, little sauce on the bottom. Just warming up the mozzarella, the, sorry, the mascarpone yeah. with the brown crab. Just so it's warm and that's ready to, to use and to plate up. Right, we've got some chopped yeah. herbs. That crab's had the thyme, so yeah. you want the herbs in there. This is herbs the little inside, VH. a little salt, a little pepper. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Used to it on this game. Here you go. And a plate. And a spoon. And a spoon you're going to put the sauce on. Exactly. There you have it. So you don't need much. Again, this dish can be done without. You want a bit of lemon juice in this sauce, yeah? A little, yes. There you go. That's that. That's it. Oh. Ready with that. So it doesn't take long to reheat. It's a, a warm dish, and the asparagus are really nice when they're crunchy. So just a touch of salt. Again, a bit of pepper on the asparagus. Ready when you are. That's it. Just you can, I find it nicer to open it slightly so you see a bit of the, yeah. the pasta and you see a bit of the, you know, the, the leaves of the basil. Down a bit there. of roquet just as a, yeah. a complement garnish and the sauce a bit on top. So you've got a mixture of classic French and... and Clackis Italian. There you are, chaps. And there you go. And don't forget to get a good shot of those diamonds. Look at that one. Very nicely <laughs> <Re> remind <laughs> Very us what nicely cut. <laughs> remind us what it is again. Ken Lee of uh, Devon Crab with uh, virgin olive oil sauce. Cooked by an absolute legend. My pleasure. Right, guys. Right. It's James's birthday. We've got to get him a present. But chefs are really difficult to buy for. What about some wine? What did you say? No. no. But hang on, we've still got to get some wines for today's show. Yeah, well, aren't you getting the first one? Yeah, you're quite right. Tally ho! With Alan's cracking crab, I'm casting out my line for a white with some elegant aromatics and a little bit of texture to work with the dish. Now, crab loves Viognier, and you could go for this. Elegant frog. Memorable name, even better wine. But for this dish, think of all the textures at play, the weave of subtle flavours. I need a wine that's more multi-dimensional. So I'm selecting, taste the difference, Languedoc White. It's crab-tacular. This wine comes from France's Languedoc, a place that can offer terrific value for money, but increasingly incredible quality in the glass. Here we have local grape varieties made into a headline act. Yummy! Think about the headline ingredient in the dish, the crab. It's quite a big flavour. For that, you need some fruity concentration in your white wine. And then, of course, there's the texture of the pasta. For that, you need oak enrichment, and this has been fleshed out in those barrels. And finally, we have all those wonderful aromatic flavours. The basil that's cleverly flecked through the pasta. The green peppercorns, the fragrant coriander. This wine gives that sense of exuberant aromatics with a lightness of touch. Maritime freshness in a glass. Alan, here's to your corking crab cannelloni. Cheers!